It gives me great pleasure to introduce the winner of the January 16th uh, $50 million Lotto Max winner. I'd like to introduce to you all Randall Rush. I didn't think I was going to win. I knew. I really knew. I can pay off that parking ticket in Moncton, New Brunswick now. I've been keep putting that off forever and ever. It's on the front of my fridge, and it's like, oh, next paycheck, oh, next paycheck. Oh, it's, you know, it's like, now i got no excuses, you know, so I just hope they don't come looking for me now. I'm looking at this as a gift from God, and uh, it's a responsibility. And um, so uh, I'm going to set up a trust fund. And the interest that spins off this trust fund will go to feed hungry kids and homeless children around the world. And uh, that, that's what I'm dedicating the rest of my life to. And um, I was, uh, I'm very passionate about that because when I was 26 years old, I was this close to being homeless. And uh, I never forgot the experience. So, uh, you know, you never forget where you come from, right? So um, I was in the heavy duty equipment industry for about six years. Uh, and um, I, I worked for Hertz Equipment Rental. Great company, by the way. And then before then, I was in the printing industry for about 15 years. How old are you? I'm just turned 48. Had to think about that. Had to do the math. <laughs> about six years ago, I was at my friend Daryl's house, and we were watching some football one afternoon. And uh, and uh, seriously, this sounds fabricated. It sounds hokey, but it's the honest to God truth. I had these numbers flash in my head. And I said, Daryl, I just had these numbers flash in my head. And he goes, really? He goes, write them down. So I wrote them down. And he goes, man, those look like good lottery tickets and numbers. And I said, well, I don't play the lottery. You know, like, he goes, but if you didn't play and these numbers come up, how would you feel? Uh, yeah, OK. So every every week for about six years, uh, you know, I played the, the Max Western uh, 649. I, I don't have really any family, um, um, you know. And so I just got I got very good friends. Um, and. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much it for the family. And I help, help out some friends, sure, you know. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't forget, you know, uh, people who've done me kindness. Like my friend Daryl, he took me in after my house burned down 12 years ago. So, you know, and then, um, you know, my friend Brent has helped me out over the years. And uh, it literally is a ton of money, you know. And it's a huge responsibility. And if you don't have the right people around you and uh, who, who think in the right direction, um, you know, this, this, uh, it can be very good and it can be very dangerous too. So.